Three simple steps to master your approvals on Ethereum or any other EVM chain in 2024. You want to start by visiting and bookmarking revoke.com. Cash. Once you got that, we continue with step number one, check your approvals regularly. To check your approvals, you don't even need to connect anything yet. You just type in your ENS address or your Ethereum address or whatever EVM chain you're using inside the search bar. Hit enter and then you see something like this or like this. In this example, we have a wallet that has been affected by the NFT trader exploit. If you hover over this warning sign with your mouse, you can see this address is involved in the following exploits, the NFT trader hack. And while this would be too late to save any assets that were involved in this hack, there might be other hacks in the future, right? So for example, if we have a wallet like this, which is one of mine, and you see approvals to especially older protocols like the old Blur protocol, the old OpenSea protocol, right? you simply want to remove them if you plan on holding the assets in that wallet. This wallet has some permit approvals which expire at a given date. So for example, this meme tokens will expire in one week. You can see this is a permit two approval that will expire in one week. And this is done by the permit two contract that is used by Uniswap. You can see the same with our waste and scales right here expiring in one week. By the way, you can sort on revoke.cash, for example, by newest to oldest. So with this timestamp, you're able to see when an approval has been signed. So step number two is revoke your approvals regularly. Any approvals that you don't plan on using in the near future, you should consider revoking. In this wallet, for example, we can see that wrapped Ethereum down here is still approved to the old OpenSea protocol. So if this wallet would hold any wrapped Ethereum, which it doesn't, but if it would, then it would be vulnerable to any hacks or exploits considering the old OpenSea protocol. If I had wrapped Ethereum in this wallet, removing the OpenSea old approval would be something that I would consider doing. To do so we would connect your wallet in the upper right on revoke.cash, then you get prompted with the connect your wallet button, probably MetaMask is the way to go, then you're connected right here and then you can click on revoke on the right side. You will see a MetaMask pop-up that looks like this where it says revoke spending cap for your RIP Ethereum and this looks good because we are trying to achieve what this warning says, we are trying to revoke the spending cap for RIP Ethereum for the old OpenSea protocol right here. And in a real life example you would then be able to click on approve, I am not because I have insufficient funds for gas in this example, <laughs> but you would be able to approve this transaction, the transaction will go through and get processed on the blockchain and then if you F5 and refresh this page the approval to the OpenSea old contract for the rep Ethereum tokens should be gone very soon. One thing to talk about real quick is signatures as well. Revoke.cash has this built-in check for the signatures as well. Please make sure you read this warning because even if you cancel your signatures to OpenSea or Blur, for example, the possibility of canceling them again will still persist right? So even if you did that once, there's no way for Revoke.cash to check if you really cancelled your signatures. So if you do this one time, you're fine and you shouldn't be repeating it like 10 times or whatever. And one more quick tip on this, you should only do this if you're like 100% sure that you signed some kind of wallet drainer because they are leveraging those marketplace signatures. So one example would be, we are sure we signed something that involved the OpenSea signatures. So we'd be clicking on cancel signatures. And then we will get prompted with a blockchain transaction again. This time it's the increment counter, which increments your counter to OpenSea, which makes all offers that have been there to OpenSea invalid, like to scammers, to OpenSea themselves. Everything you've listed is invalid because the counter is now changed and everything before that counter change is like basically just redundant. Again, you would need to confirm this transaction. Again, I'm not able to because I don't have any gas fees in this wallet, but if you do that, it gets confirmed and then every possible signature gets canceled out and you might save yourself some assets. One last tip to end the video, please make sure you don't do everything on chain from one wallet address only. I teach at the Boring Security DAO. Make sure to check out the Web3 101 security class because it's free. See you there, stay safe.